Pig's office. Today, as a special treat, Peppa and George are visiting Daddy Pig's office. Daddy, what do you do at your office all day? Lots of fun things. You'll see. This is the building where Daddy Pig works. We're here. Hooray! <laughs> yes? Hello, it's Daddy Pig. Hello, Daddy Pig. Can I press the button too? <laughs> of course, Pepper. Yes? It's me. Oh, hello, me. Come in. <laughs> <laughs> My office is on the top floor. We have to go up in the lift. Can I press the button? I think it's George's turn. Press the top button, George. <laughs> Ooh. The lift is taking Pepper, George and Daddy Pig up to the very top floor. Wow! Top floor, doors opening. <laughs> this is Daddy Pig's office. Hello, everyone. Hello, Daddy Pig. Hello, Daddy Pig. Mr Rabbit and Mrs Cat work with Daddy Pig. I've brought two very special visitors with me today. <coughs> Peppa and George. What an honour. Let's begin the tour. Mr Rabbit, can we start at your desk? We certainly can. <clears throat> My job is all about numbers. I take very important pieces of paper. I take a rubber stamp. And I stamp the paper. Wow! What a great job Mr Rabbit has. Can I do some stamping? Of course. I'll just find you some paper. Here's some paper. <laughs> uh, maybe we should use some blank paper. Here you are. Peppa likes stamping with rubber stamps. I like doing Mr Rabbit's job. <laughs> <laughs> On with the tour. Next up is Mrs Cat's desk. Meow. Hello, Pepper and George. Hello. My job is all about drawing shapes on the computer. Ooh. Then I print the shapes out. Wow. <laughs> and here's another copy. Thank you. What a nice job Mrs Cat has. Can I have a go? Maybe it's George's turn now. That's right, George. It's your turn to do some work. <laughs> George is making blue triangles. Now we print them out. <laughs> I like doing Mrs Cat's job. <laughs> do you want to see my desk now? Yes, please. This is Daddy Pig's desk. My job is quite complicated. I take big numbers, transmute them, and calculate their load-bearing tangents. Daddy Pig's job sounds very important. Do you use rubber stamps? No. Do you use a computer? No, but I do use colouring pens. <laughs> Daddy, can we draw with your colouring pens? Good idea. <laughs> Pepper and George love drawing with colouring pens. I'm drawing a house. George is drawing a dinosaur. <laughs> George always draws dinosaurs. Dinosaur. <laughs> My goodness, five o'clock already. It is home time. I say, what a splendid picture of a house. And what a fierce dinosaur. George and I have been doing Daddy's job. And they've been doing it very well. I like doing Mr Rabbit's job. And I like doing Mrs Cat's job. But I like doing Daddy's job the best. <laughs> 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 It is a lovely sunny day. Pepper and her friends are visiting Granny and Grandpa Pig. What's that? Grandpa Pig is putting up a big stripy tent in his garden. It's the circus! Hooray! <laughs> Grandpa, can we see the circus? Circus, Pepper? There's no circus here. Why have you 
got a big stripy tent then? This is for Granny Pig's garden party. Oh, what's a garden party? It's where grown ups stand around talking. What a waste of a good tent. A circus would be more exciting. Why don't you make your own circus? Yes, <coughs> we can call it Pepper's Circus. Have you finished putting up the tent, Grandpa? The guests will be here soon. Granny, we're doing a circus for your garden party. What a splendid idea. Can we dress up? <coughs> of course. I'll get the dressing up box. We can be clowns. And strong men. And jugglers. My daddy was in the circus. <coughs> wow, what did he do? He sold tickets. Here, you can all find something to wear in the dressing up box. <laughs> Pepper has found a top hat. <laughs> Danny Dog has found some spotty trunks and a stick on moustache. <laughs> Pedro has found a clown outfit. <laughs> Who wants makeup? Me, please. What does everyone want to be? <laughs> I want to be the clown. But, Pepper, where is your clown costume? OK, you be the clown. I want to be the strong man. OK, Danny, you be the strong man. I want to be the juggler. But I wanted to do that. <laughs> wow! OK, you be the juggler. Grandpa, <laughs> I don't have a job to do. You can be the ringmaster, Pepper. You've got the hat for it. What's a ringmaster? The ringmaster is the boss. Yes, I'll be the ringmaster. <laughs> what do I do? You say, welcome to my circus. See the impossible, the amazing, the incredible feats of daring do. Ooh. Uh, welcome to my circus. It's got amazing feats. <laughs> Moo! Granny Pig's garden party guests are here. Hello, everyone. You're in for a treat. The circus has come to town. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my circus. Now, please be very scared of the amazing candy cat. <laughs> George, Richard and Edmund on Tricycle! <laughs> Don't stop clapping. It's the strong Danny dog. <laughs> I was a strong man once. I used to lift tractors. <sighs> See, Emily Elephant juggle potatoes and an egg. <laughs> Oh. Now laugh a lot at Pedro Pony. He's a clown. <laughs> Stop laughing. I haven't done the funny bit yet. Ah, ah. that was the funny bit. <laughs> That's what I call funny. Thank you. That is the end of my amazingly impossible circus. Hooray! That is the best circus I have ever seen. <laughs> Shadows. It is a lovely sunny day. Pepper, George and Rebecca Rabbit are playing piggy in the middle. Cat, Pepper. Cat, Rebecca. George is the piggy in the middle. <laughs> oh, George is trying to catch the ball's shadow. Silly, George. That's not the ball. That's just its shadow. Look! When the ball moves, its shadow moves as well. You've got a shadow too, George. George is trying to walk away from his shadow. You can't walk away from your shadow. You need to run away from it. Pepper is trying to run away from her shadow. Oh, it's still there. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Susie. 
We're trying to run away from our shadows. No one can run away from their shadow. Oh. You need to use a scooter. Whee! Susie is trying to ride away from her shadow. See? But your shadow is still there. Oh! Hello, everyone. Here is Mr Elephant with Emily and Edmund. Hello. We're trying to run away from our shadows. You can never run away from your shadow. I know. We can't go fast enough. No, Susie. It's nothing to do with how fast you run. You see? My shadow is still underneath me. Run faster! Even if I run faster, my shadow keeps up with me. Daddy, your shadow is too big. It's slowing you down. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that, Emily. Your shadow always stays with you. Why? When something gets in the way of the sun, it makes a shadow like this. Oh. oh. I have the biggest shadow because I'm the biggest. And George and I have the smallest shadows because we are the smallest. Very clever, Edmund. I'm a clever clogs. <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> Whose shadow is that? That's the biggest shadow ever! It must be a giant! <laughs> it's not a giant. The shadow is being made by a cloud. Wow! What sort of cloud is it? Um, it's a big cloud. It's called a stratocumulus. Yes. Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. Look, our shadows are getting longer. Ooh! That's because the sun is getting lower in the sky. It's nearly night time. My shadow has gone. Yes, Emily. When the sun sets, the shadows go away. Peppa, George, bedtime. OK, Daddy. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. It is bedtime. I'm a bit sad that my shadow's gone away. Don't be sad, Pepper. The electric light can make shadows. And we can make shadow puppets. Mummy Pig is using her hands to make a shadow puppet. It's a birdie! <laughs> <laughs> Listen to it sing. Tweet, tweet, I'm a little birdie. <laughs> my turn! Pepper has made a spider. My name is Mr Skinny Legs. Oh, scary. <laughs> George is making a shadow puppet. What's that, George? Dinosaur. <laughs> George has made a dinosaur. <laughs> That's really scary. Very good, George. <laughs> Time to switch the lights out. Good night, Pepper. Good night, George. Good night, Shadows. Good night, Shadows. A trip to the moon. It is a lovely sunny day. Pepper is playing with her bouncy ball. <laughs> George and his friend, Edmund Elephant, are playing with their space toys. <laughs> George is pretending that the bouncy ball is the moon. I was playing with that ball. Oh! Edmund's space toy has landed on Pepper's head. <laughs> <laughs> this looks fun. Are you going to the moon? <laughs> it's just boring space stuff for babies, Daddy. It's not real. But space is real, Pepper, And there are real rockets that go to the moon. The museum has a show all about the moon. <laughs> Shall we go and see it? Yay! Will we really have to go to the moon? No, Pepper. we're not going to the moon. We're going to the museum. OK. Here is the museum. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Have you come to see the moon show? <gasps> yes, Miss Rabbit. Five tickets, please. There you are. Enjoy your trip to the moon. Oh, we really are going to the moon. No, Peppa. It's just pretend. This way for our trip to the moon. 
Mr. Rabbit is the tour guide. Ooh. Prepare for takeoff. It's just pretend, isn't it? That's right, Pepper. It's just pretend. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off. We live on a planet. Does anyone know what it is called? The Earth. That's right. <laughs> I'm a bit of an expert at space things. There are seven other planets that go around our sun. Does anyone know what they are called? Uh... Mercury. Oh, well done, Edmund. Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, Uranus. Edmund knows all about space. I'm a clever clogs. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone know what these planets are made of? They're made of cardboard. These models are made of cardboard? But the real planets are made of rock and ice and gas. But of course the moon is made of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> no, the moon is made of rock. And this is a serious tour, so no jokes and no giggling. Here we are on the moon. It's a pretend moon, really, isn't it? Yes. If this was the real moon, you could jump over my head. Does anyone know why we can jump so high on the moon? Gravity! Oh, that's right, Edmund. Gravity is what keeps us on the ground. It is weaker on the moon, so you can jump higher. Ooh. We can make you feel like you're jumping on the moon with the help of science. That sounds impressive. How do you do that? With big rubber bands. Everyone is strapped into Mr. Rabbit's anti-gravity rubber bands. <laughs> <laughs> Bouncing on the pretend moon is fun. Say moon cheese. Moon cheese. <laughs> and that is the end of the tour. Please walk this way. Are there trees on the moon? No. Are there any cars on the moon? No. Are there any moon shops? No, that would be silly. Welcome to the moon shop. We've got moon maps, moon books. We've even got a picture of piggies on the moon with an elephant. Look, there we are, jumping on the moon. We've got moon rock too. It's got a picture of the moon all the way through the middle. Ooh. How about some real moon cheese? How much is it, Miss Rabbit? Five pounds, please. Five pounds? Pounds? It's all for a good cause. I like the moon now because it's very interesting. Mmm, and very tasty. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>